Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Thank you all for joining me on today's video. I'm gonna be walking you through the steps that you can take to customize your tabs on your blog page. And okay, first let's just get this out of the way. Guys, if you are new to blogging and don't know what tabs are, look at the screen. Do you see where my mouse is hovering right now? Those are tabs, that's what I'm talking about. Tabs are basically um, it, like an index, so to speak, or a menu option for the visitors who come to your blog to get access to different points that you want them to go to, okay? So in order to do this, I need you to open up two internet tabs, one for your Prosperity Team back office, because we're gonna utilize this in a moment, and one for your Empower Network back office. Once you're at Empower Network, you need to come over here and hover over your name to get the drop down menu. You're gonna select to view, edit my blog, and then we're gonna come over here to the top left corner where we see the customize plus sign. We're gonna click it to where it gives us our drop down menu and we're gonna come over here to page customization. Now the first trick that I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to connect one of your social media sites to your page. So you need to click add page, and let's start with the, like Facebook. So say you want to redirect your visitors to connect with you on your Facebook page, you would do something like, um, I don't know, find me on Facebook or follow me on Facebook. Or simply Facebook, if that's what you want to do. It just make sure that they know that the tab they're clicking is actually going to take them to where you say it is. Okay, so don't say follow me on Facebook and have them redirected to your Twitter. <laughs> it's a little confusing for people. All right, for this particular option, because we're redirecting them to a completely different website, we do not need a page body. We do not need our permalink. You can keep your commenting off, but visibility public, always public. Okay, you're gonna click publish. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, don't worry about SEO options right now because we'll cover that in a different video. You just need to come back over here to navigation bar. And technically, this is what yours should look like the top. You need to make sure that your search bar is on, your branding is on. And in order to get rid of these, you actually need to uncheck welcome, vision, leadership, system, get money. Now, the reason I had you do it like this instead of just unchecking all is because we actually need to keep our home page. Our home page is our blog's anchor page. And basically what that means is that's the page that shows all of our blog posts. We need that, okay? Make sure you leave your home page. Otherwise, there no anyone who comes to your blog is not going to see any of your posts. Why? Because you deleted the page. All right, but as you can see, since we created a new page or a new tab, it gave us a new empty option here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna retype the title of the tab here. All right, and then you need to type in your Facebook address. And if you don't know how to what your Facebook address is, um, I can actually show you how you can find it. Simply come to your Facebook, you're gonna log in, you're gonna click on your name to go to your actual profile page, and then this URL that pops up here, that's what you need to collect. That's your Facebook page name, or page address, I'm sorry. So you're gonna come over here and you're gonna paste it, and you're gonna click Save Changes. All right, now if you scroll down, you'll see that the change took place immediately. It's very quick, guys. So if you wanted to test it to make sure that it actually connected correctly, simply open it up in a new tab. And as you can see, now if anyone comes onto my blog and they click this tab, they will automatically be redirected to my, fam um, to my Facebook page. So if they want to connect with me here, now they can as well. All right, so now I'm actually gonna show you how you can connect a different blog page onto your blog page, okay? Uh, follow me here. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through it, I promise. Okay, so say you want say you want a page on your blog that is purely dedicated to just telling your story, who you are, why you're doing this, what decision in life led you to connecting with Empower Network or whatever business it is that you're using this blog for. You could put something like my story or who is Jamie or who is Tim, you know, something like that. And then you can, you have a couple of different options on this one. Since we're keeping this page on our blog, if you want, if you want, um, I'm so sorry, if you want to type out your story, then you can, you know, just type your text here. If you want to 
add say an image or a video or an audio, you can come up here to this tab or this button where it says add media, you can click it and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of different options that you can utilize to connect images, videos, and audios. And once you have what you want, you're gonna just simply click add media and it'll connect it to this page for you. All right, now we do actually need the permalink for this particular type of blog tab, oh my goodness, tab page. <laughs> so we're actually going to uh, copy, actually, you know what, an easier way to do it, um, we're gonna copy this one. We're gonna paste it here, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, make sure your commenting is off, because uh, you really don't need it, I mean, unless you want it, but it's not really necessary for this type of page. But again, visibility is public. You're gonna click Publish. You're gonna click Publish. There we go, okay. <laughs> and then come over here to Navigation. Come down here to your new uh, tab title option, and you're gonna, what was it, what did we call it, my story? Okay, now for this one, we need to actually come up here, copy this code. And then right here, do you see how, do you notice how the type tab, it uh, blinks right at the end of this backslash? This is where we're going to come back and collect this part of the permalink, okay? And then we'll paste that here. Click Save Changes. And then if you want to view it, go to the option, click it to open up into a new tab. And as you can see, it took you, it's still, you're still on my blog page. You're now just on a different portion of the blog page. Make sense? Okay. Now the final option I'm going to show you uh, how to utilize is attaching a capture page onto a tab. So basically what that means, guys, is if you want, if when a visitor comes to your blog and you want them to go straight into a capture page, and nothing else, this is how you would do it. You would click add page. Okay, now say you're like me, say you're a stay-at-home parent and you happen to run your business from home and you want to maybe create a title for your tab that would entice other people to follow suit. You could do something like work from home, Oop. opportunity here or something to that effect. And then uh, we do not need a page body because again, we're redirecting them to a different page. We do not need the permalink. Our commenting is off. Visibility is public. Come back to navigation bar, come down here. Whatever it is that you titled it, you're gonna put that here. And then we're gonna get our link URL from our prosperity team back office. This is why I had you open up a tab for here. You're gonna to come to your iPass Marketing Center and whatever sales funnel you have access to, that's where you can start. So I'm actually just gonna show you off of the iPass, the basic level uh, sales funnel. So that would be in this option. You're gonna to go to Empower Network. And then, okay, let's see. Um, I personally, I've said this before in other videos, I like in this particular funnel, capture page 13 and the commission loophole. So I'm actually gonna collect this code for the commission loophole and that's what I'm gonna paste right here. So once you have whatever capture page you want, copy the code, paste it here, click save. Is it gonna do it? There we go, okay. And then again, open up, open it in a new link so you can test it. And as you can see, look guys, it. anyone who clicks this tab from here on out, if this is what I choose to keep, will automatically be redirected to a capture page of my choosing, okay? All right, guys, so I mean, that's it. As far as customizing your tabs go, I have showed you all the steps that you can utilize. I've showed you three excellent techniques that you can use to redirect your visitors to connect with you on a social media site, on um, connecting with you on a different portion of your blog page, as well as connecting with you through a capture page and getting them into your autoresponder using this method. So utilize these steps, play around with them, get comfortable with customizing your own uh, blog. Because remember guys, your blog is your business. So you want it to be, you want it to be promotable. You want it, you want to be happy with this. Okay, so feel free to tweak it as much as you need to where you are comfortable with promoting it, okay? Because this is your baby. You wanna love your baby, all right? Show it some love and affection, guys. Okay, if you found this video helpful, I'm glad that I could be of service to you. Make sure that you like it and leave your comments below. I, I enjoy hearing from you guys. I love to hear your thoughts. And make sure if you 
If you've stumbled onto my video and you are not in or you're not connected with Empower Network, but you are interested, make sure that you click the link below the video to get started. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming.